Today we review a nutrition app called Lose It, available for both iOS and Android devices in under 5 minutes. And we start right after this. Lose It offers both a free and paid version. For the purposes of this review, we will be focusing on the paid version. In addition, I will be reviewing some of the features I have personal experience with. Lose It is a one-stop shop to track your caloric intake, macros, water consumption, sleep hours, body weight, body fat percentage, and much more. Along with a visually appealing interface, loaded with many different themes, the app also provides you with feedback through many different metrics on trends in your diet, positive and negative ones. This allows you to make adjustments based on your overall goals, whether those goals are weight loss, maintaining one's weight, or weight gain. So the app is divided in four tabs, your My Day, Log, Goals, and your Social tab. For My Day, you start off with a summary, which uh, you can check out your calories, your macronutrient breakdown, as well if you did have this uh, app connected to Fitbit, your Fitbit calorie burn for the day. You also have all of these articles available. As for your log, it's pretty self-explanatory. You log all of your food and calorie intake in this screen. You can uh, add calorie budgets for every single meal of the day. Also on the screen, you can log all of your water. You also have your sleep, which you can log the amount of hours of sleep. If you have a Fitbit, this will do it automatically. Your weight as well, and your body fat percentage. Again, you can do this manually, or if you have a Fitbit area scale, you can have it sync automatically to, uh, to the Fitbit account, which will sync automatically to this app. Also here at the top of the log screen, you got your budget, your calorie budget, how much food you've intaked for the day, how much exercise uh, you've done, your net calories, and how many calories you're under for the day. If you swipe down, you can check your average for the week. You can also check your macronutrient breakdown from the screen. To log an item, there's many ways of doing it. We're going to go into the dinner, for example, here. You notice there's a little camera and then there's a plus beside the dinner. With the camera, you got two options. You can scan barcodes off of uh, food labels or you can actually scan the entire food item. And as you can see, it shows up as water in the screen. So the other way is you can uh, log it by food. You can search. We'll search for chicken. So all these items come up. All the items you have logged manually will show up first, be followed by uh, items that the community has added. As for example, you see all these little green check marks. These are all items that have been added by community and that have been verified to be accurate. You could change uh, how many of each you're having. If it's, uh, if it's ounces, pounds, grams, then you can log it and done. You can log multiple items. Now that item shows up and you got some chicken. As you can tell over here, it shows that uh, a positive pattern has been detected. And apparently when I am eating chicken, I consume 36 less calories in a day than days that, that I do not. Another cool little feature over here is, uh, for example, I'm going to search McDonald's here and you'll notice there's a little items here and they got the l these little McDonald logos be beside them. So there is branding in here, which is kind of neat. So just at a glance, you can tell if it's from McDonald's or, or Tim Hortons or KFC. It's a, it's a nice little visual. Is it necessary? No, but it makes the app look a lot nicer. So basically you keep adding your items throughout the day, tracking your nutrition this way, and at the end of the day you can evaluate whether you exceeded your calorie goals or your macros or so on. So that covers the log tab. As for goals, this is all uh, up to you. You can add different charts on this screen. For example, I like to track my weight, my body fat percentage, water intake, my carbohydrate intake, and so on. So you could create these specific charts for each one. And in turn, you can also set personal goals so you don't exceed these, um, these limits. So it's a very useful tool here for, for tracking all of that. So steps, Fitbit calories. Again, if you got a Fitbit sync to this, you can get a lot more additional data through the Fitbit. And then your social tab. Uh, if you can add friends, you can add groups. Uh, you can compete against friends. So if you and five of your friends are competing on a weight loss goal, it will show you in a leaderboard. And it won't show your weight to other people, but it'll show how much weight you've lost in comparison. Lose It offers a free and a paid version of the app. I would recommend getting the free version to start and see if you like it. 
Lose-It also offers frequent sales to their free users to encourage them to switch over, usually 25% savings on an annual membership. As with any app, more features and data are available to its paid users. Cost is $39.99 USD before any discounts. That is all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And why not watch another video? You know you wanna. Come on! Till next time, stay safe. Thank you.